<laughs> we were at a hotel yeah. with a bunch of guys. And for some reason, your pants came down. And, yeah, that's definitely happened before. Yeah. I don't know exactly what we were talking about, but yeah. I know that's happened. And you had on a you had on some contraption you're wearing, and it was Batman. And I, and everybody said, Max, what are you wearing? And you said it's a banana hammock. Welcome to the Bros and Brothers podcast, our brand new podcast. My name's what? Nick. My name's Max. How's it going, guys? And, uh, you know, off the bat, you would consider me the bro. Right. But I don't want to be the bro. You definitely got bro glasses. I got bro skin, but I want to be a brother. I've always wanted to be a brother. So I figure this might be the chance to be, hey, we can to be a brother. Switch it off. I'm a bro sometimes. Right. Sometimes I'm a brother. All right. All right. So the reason why we call this podcast Bros and Brothers is simple. Uh, we've been bros for a long time since probably like 1970. Okay. <laughs> and then also, uh, uh, mid 2000s, but then mid 2000s. Yeah. That's so true. we've been bros and then yeah. you, uh, married my sister. Yes. Yeah, so now we're brothers. So now we're actual brothers. We're and brothers so and we're bros. Yeah. So we want to start a podcast and we're like, what should we call it? Simple enough, bros and brothers, brothers. because we're going to talk about mainly bro stuff. That's yeah, what we're that's right. into the most guys, bro, bro. Bro, bro, am I right, guys? Bro. bro. No. Right. I'm not going to lie. We got drops. <laughs> drops in the house. I'm not going to lie. I've been calling it brothers and bros. And you're telling me right now it's not brothers and bros? Never has been. I've been messing up this entire <laughs> no. time, guys. I know We've had a discussion about this. Yeah. We've predetermined what the name is going to be. Favorite movie on three. One, two, three. Jurassic Park. Your... I had nothing. Sorry. No, right. Let's do it again. Give me another chance. Okay, right. favorite movie on three. One, two, three, Jurassic Park. Little Foot. Little Foot. I don't Little think foot. I've ever seen Little Foot. Land Before Time, okay. guys. <laughs> it's like Jurassic Park, but better. Right, right, right. So you win character. That's, yeah. That's Originally, I was going to say Your Little Pony. Right. But that's not a movie. No. Wait, is there a Little Pony movie? It'd be My Little Pony. My Little it's Pony? Is there, little, is there a little My Little Pony, pony my movie? Little pony. Hey, I got an idea. Okay. <clears throat> I got this book. All it's right. called The Worst Case Scenario Survival Handbook. All right. And uh, you know what? Hold on. Before we get to this, real quick. All right. This is our first episode. It's the pilot episode, a.k.a. the Sully episode. Sully? He saved all those people. That's right. He's a great a pilot. Also, the, Sully, the birthday man. episode it is your birthday. Oh, yeah. That's right. You're watching this later, but it's today's your actual birthday. Yeah, it's like my actual birthday right now yeah so it's the birthday episode yeah. and then it's also the uh our barber's out of town we couldn't get a fresh haircut yep, video, so a we'll look better next week but. alex where you at bro yeah, appreciate it so <laughs> okay i want to quiz you on a couple worst case scenarios okay let's do it if you don't know listen you're gonna get to know about us you know over time yeah uh but if but one thing you got to know is that is that you're really handy with stuff yeah um that's true i mean like i can i can scrap around you ready i'm ready dude bring it on bro this is, a, this is a four-step plan. Okay. No, five-step plan. All right. Okay? This episode, we might just get rid of. We might throw this thing away. <laughs> so I just, just, okay. Like, but, this has real throw-in-the-trash energy right Yeah, now. for sure, for sure. All right. So, what would your step one be on surviving a mudslide? Dude, mudslide? Yeah. First of all, get in the mud. Okay. That's what you want to do. You want right. to get in the mud, take your clothes off. Nothing but your whitey tidies. Which, first of all, can we talk about that? Yeah. Whitey tidies. Yeah. Are you a whitey tidies guy? No, I'm not. Boxers or one, briefs. Boxers or briefs, bro. I know one time at a at a camp. So Max and I, we work with youth. Max was a part. I, I'm I'm a pastor. Math. Uh, Max. <laughs> math. <laughs> math. Dude. I'm also math. Yeah, we're changing your name to Matt. <laughs> yeah, my uh, name's Matt now. Max currently runs uh, the, the youth program at our church. Which is after Matt. Which is after, that's what I was getting confused <laughs> yeah, with. Yeah. And, uh, but back in the day yeah. when uh, when I was running it, I had the youth first, Max was just a leader and he came out at like 19. And I remember one time we were- I mean, so, I wasn't just a leader. Yeah, I mean, you were more, you were leader number one. But, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but we were at a hotel yeah. with a bunch of guys. And for some reason, your pants came down. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely happened before. Yeah. I don't know exactly what we were talking about, but yeah. I know that's happened. And you had on a, you had on some contraption you're wearing, and it was Batman. And I, and everybody said, Max, what are you wearing? And you said it's a banana hammock. Oh yeah, <laughs> and it was a Batman banana, banana hammock. hammock. Batman banana hammock. <laughs> to this hammock. day, it's like I just think like I've never never seen one before. 
I've never seen one after. And you're never going to see it again. All right. Not on me. So you're not a banana hammock guy anymore. Not anymore. Sometimes I am occasionally. Hey, say ba- banana hammock five times as fast as you can. Banana hammock, banana hammock, banana hammock, banana hammock, banana hammock, banana hammock. How many times was that? I don't know, but I really said it once. Okay, so, oh yeah, so okay, boxes are briefs. So boxes yeah. are briefs. Yeah. Well, well boxes are briefs. Exactly. That's the right answer. Bros. Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> no, okay, but, okay, mudslide. R- seriously, step seriously, one. Seriously, let's get serious. Little, give me some serious music right now, okay? Give me something serious. Okay, here we go. You're in a mudslide. Your house is falling. Then suddenly... Wait, is that the scenario? What is it saying? Read it again. <laughs> I have a short term memory. Here you goals. go. <clears throat> how to survive a mudslide. <laughs> that's it? Yeah. That's, that's all it gives you? That's it. Okay, how do you survive a mudslide? This is what you got to do. You just got to not be in your house. Number one, run perpendicular to the slide. Okay, that makes okay. sense. But go for number two. Okay, number, number, two? Two, number two. Okay, if you're running perpendicular, yeah. you also want to skip and jump over rocks. This is close. Number two is avoid riverbeds. Exactly. Okay, number three. So once that's taken place, what would number three be? Number three would be make sure you use the bathroom before the mudslide so that you are light on your feet. Mm -hmm. You got feathery feet. Fight or flight. Fight or flight. And you're not throwing up. Because if you eat a big meal before a mudslide, guarantee you're Now, if you had to do that, where would you go to do that? Um, in the mudslide. Oh, okay. No, number three is seek shelter. <laughs> yeah, I figured. That makes once, sense. I figured once you were in shelter, yeah. you could. Okay. My number, th- my number one thing was don't seek shelter. Oh, <laughs> was, yeah, it's true. My number one thing was get out of your house. <laughs> well, I guess it depends. As long as your 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 house is not in a riverbed. Yeah, that makes fine. sense. Number four. What do you think? So your number three is seek shelter. Number four would be get a helicopter. I mean, if we're talking scenario here, right. Best case scenario, be in a helicopter. I mean, yeah, it says move to an upper floor in the house, but... Um, now, what's higher than a, than a helicopter? That's, that's what I mean. That's why I gave it to you. Number five would be... <laughs> number five? Number five, last but not least. I mean, five is always the deadliest of the numbers. My mom always told me that. Shout out to my mom. I'm sure she's the only one watching right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> number five for surviving in a mudslide would be always carry a snorkel. Take cover. Take cover. I mean, it's close enough. Yeah. yeah, take cover for your lungs. Yeah. That's what a snorkel You ever is. seen... I love disaster movies. There's this one... <clears throat> you ever seen... I think it's called... Can you Google this? Uh, our producer. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our producer. Yeah. What? A.K. She's my sister, A.K. My wife. <laughs> my wife. My got wife. Em. Hey. <laughs> hey. Got him. I love that movie. Got him. We don't even need drops, dude. What? We got our own drops, dude. Wow. I'm Max a drink. and I also just speak in drops constantly. Look up Dante's Peak. I believe that's a volcano movie. You ever seen that? No. There's a scene in the movie. So it's about this volcano that erupts. And I think it's got Pierce Brosnan in it. So you can look up that. Is that true? That sounds offensive. <laughs> All right. So, well, she's working on that. But All right. Pierce Brosnan, 007 is in it. Okay. And, uh, but he's not 007. So just saying. So he's no. not. Okay. No. Um, but there's this volcano that erupts. And I don't remember the movie at all, except for one, my mom would constantly watch it. And it was always on TV. But two, there's this scene where I believe it's their grandma is there's these, they put the family in this in, in a boat, okay? And the boat, they're going to push it across this lake, and this lake, I think, is filled with lava, okay? okay. Or something like that, right? I they're think gonna, I remember this. They're going to push it. I'm not it, sure if I've seen this. Right, and it's going to melt, but they can get to the other side before yeah, yeah, they yeah. do. But the boat's getting stuck, so like they're like stuck in the middle of this lake, and it's full of lava, and then their grandma gets out and pushes the boat. Oh, dude, my God. I remember this scene, dude. Is that... Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called Dante's Peak. And that scene is the most traumatizing scene I've ever seen in my life. I, I think I've definitely seen Pierce that. Pierce Brosnan? Yes, you're right. Can you go through other things that Pierce Brosnan has been in for yeah. us? Because <clears throat> he's also in Mrs. Doubtfire, yeah, yeah. which is one of my all-time it's a great movie. favorite movies. Classic. Dude, we should do a we should do a a '90s movies quiz. We should. How many? Like, did well, you watch a lot of movies or? Yeah, I mean, well, here's the thing. I was just about to say this. I'm like the perfect person to talk to yeah. about movies because every time you talk about the movie, I will be experiencing it for the first time ever. Oh, sure. Yeah. Because my Makes memory sense. on names, yeah. things, titles, right, sucks. 
Right. Like, I, it doesn't matter what it is. Like, I don't remember any album names or any song sure. names, any actors' names. You could be talking about an actor right. in a movie. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, I've never yeah. seen that before. Yeah. And then you're describing the scene. And I'm like, right. wait, I have seen I, that. Yeah, because you, really you didn't recognize Pierce Brosnan. You never heard of Dante's Peak. Don't you remember that, that grandma yeah. being burned up. Yeah. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, that's what that's traumatizing. There's a lot of nineties movies that couldn't they could never do now for a lot of reasons. Yeah. But a lot so, of it's because they're super dramatic and like terrifying. Yeah. Like uh like the little toaster, Brave Little Toaster. Dude, scariest movie ever. Terrifying. I know that one. Terrifying. Another thing we were talking about is the other day we were talking about the new Space Jam, right? Oh yeah garbage but we we're talking about the yeah. old space jam has a worse rotten tomato score doesn't make sense and to me it's an it's a perfect movie it's flawless. it's like 2001 a space odyssey yeah space jam michael jordan yeah greatest actor of our generation go through yep. pierce Brosnan movies for us okay so we got we'll Mama just see if we've seen them okay Mamma mia Oh, you're going from newest to oldest? <laughs> no, I'm just saying the random movies. Go to IMDb and see. Mamma Mia, the musical, just, definitely just, seen it. Know all the songs. I just Google searched it. Hold on. Let me go over to his IMDb. Do you want every single movie? Yeah, from start to finish. We're just going to see if oh we've seen him. Rapid gosh. Fire, Pierce um, Brosnan. He's underrated, so I like So who know. is this guy? He is the, <laughs> he is the boyfriend of, uh, the, of Robin Williams' wife in Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh. With the slick back hair. 007. Right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 007. I like <clears throat> he is he is hair idol for me. Right. Right. That's why I was like, yeah, bummed yeah, to come yeah. get a haircut because I'm yeah. going for the Pierce Brosnan. Okay, let's go. I okay, get it. I will say this. He's been in 102 movies. Go through Rapid every fire. single one. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> uh wait, this is newest to oldest. Let me go down to the bottom. Hold on. Um, he's been in Murphy Stroke, The Long Good Friday, The Professionals, Hammer House of Horror. The Mirror Cracked, The Mansions of America, Play for Today. Go to like 90s. Okay, okay, <laughs> Just okay, go to the 90s. Okay, that's 85. Okay, now 88. Let's go up. You worked a lot in the 80s. Um, okay, so we got Livewire, Entangled. None of these? No. Um, we got Mrs. Doubtfire. Hey. We know there that we go. One. Seen Never it. heard of that one. Seen okay, it. Okay. We got. Have you seen my tea? <laughs> oh, a spot of tea. Would you like tea? I don't tea? think you've seen Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Well, I mean, there's it's definitely whatever. a tea scene in that movie. There's definitely. Remember when her boobs catch on fire? Yeah, definitely. That was sick. Or his boobs. <laughs> oh, <Whoa>, dude. <laughs> oh. Hey, we're not going to go there. All right. We'll go okay, there. Okay. He's been in Love Affair, um, Goldeneye. Yes. Omega, Golden Eye. Golden Eye. Television commercial. Nope. He's been in it. The Disappearance of Kevin Johnson. Nope. No. Nope. Uh, Mars Attacks. Yes. Classic. Is that the one with the aliens? aliens? Yeah, dude. And they classic. sing to blow their brains up. Okay, he's got a few classics on there. Yep, 1997, like Dante's Peak. There it is, Dante's bro. Peak. There it is. I was six going on seven and uh, terrified from, from my life. And, and honestly, I've ever since, and you can ask my wife, I've had a I've had a irrational fear of old women. Yeah. And I think partly it goes back to imagining this old woman like... Just burning up. Just burning alive, trying Being to save cooked. her kids, but becoming like a monster almost. Grandma soup. Yeah. <clears throat> and I still can't to this day. I, if there's a horror movie, something like that, that has an old lady, I just can't. What about can't chicken do soup? do it. Chicken soup? Yeah. I'll go for a chicken noodle. Okay. All right. Okay, we got Tomorrow Never Dies. That's yes. A 007 movie. Yes. Dude, wait. Yes. I think that's the first movie I ever owned on DVD. Wow, dude. Yeah. That's special. And I got it from a birthday once. And it was also with the other movie, uh, The Tuxedo with Jackie Chan. Okay. Yeah. That's, a, that's a double feature. <laughs> yeah, those I are the first that. DVDs that I ever owned. Yeah, okay. Okay, The Match, Grey Owl, The World Is Not Enough, lots of commercials. He did. He voiced in The Simpsons. Who I've seen that. Okay. Who didn't? I've seen The um, Simpsons. Evelyn, Die Another Day. Double nope. seven. It was Die Another Day. Oh, okay. That I owned, okay. That I that DVD. All, right, all right. That makes sense. Um, yeah. He did a PlayStation 2 game, Everything or Nothing. That's probably okay. 007. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Laws of Attraction. Favorite, uh, favorite uh, video game. Favorite video 90, game? From the 90s. From the 90s? Or early 2000s. PlayStation 1's from the early 2000s. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to go Driver on PlayStation 1. Okay. Or my actual one, but I didn't, I didn't reference it because nobody would know it. It's Command and Conquer on PlayStation One, but it's a strategy game. I mean, no one's hating on you for it. Yeah, I used to get <laughs> like 
codes for my uncle. Yeah. And he wouldn't like Dude, cheat give me codes. Yeah, cheat codes I had notebooks full of cheat codes. I think mine would be uh I love the Grand Theft Auto games, which is like cliche. Oh yeah, of course. Grand, Grand Theft Auto, Auto, Tony Hawk. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. where I go. But Driver was like a, a precursor to Grand oh, Theft Auto. Wait, try to, but all one, you, why did it try to one up me? All, <laughs> but all you could do is drive. Oh, okay. So it wasn't that so, it's not yeah. that great. Yeah, it couldn't like kill people. No, you just <clears throat> I mean you could run over people. Right. Um and then my Super Nintendo, which I actually still have my original Super Nintendo, I loved Donkey Brag. Kong Country. Oh, <laughs> yeah, if we're both going to be bragging here. What? I got uh, Donkey Kong Country was like, I think, my all-time. Yeah. That's like the most played, like the Lion King game, stuff like yeah, that. Those, those are good. like my all-time. Okay, go back to it. Um, we're up to Mamma Mia. No, never heard of it. Seen it. I love it. Max and I listen to the song. Wait, hold on, wait. In the car and we sing to it. Will we, can we play music on this thing? I think like a quick snippet. Quick snippet? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this. You don't kind of. He wants to show you that. He why am I bragging words? about Mamma Mia? <laughs> yeah. He's like, look what I'm like, guys, look. It's literally <laughs> recently played the soundtrack to Mamma Mia. Okay. There you go. Okay. We sing this. I mean, I respect it. Wait. This is a banger. All right. Max and I go full out on this. Good thing we can't be monetized because we'd be demonetized right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Instantly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But good thing we can't be demonetized. Yeah, yeah. We're not making any money. What if like YouTube just comes through and they're just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. they're breaking through the windows. Yeah. <laughs> they're choking us. Sick, Why are you playing that song? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Seen that. Never That's seen, a cool one. Never seen it. The Ghost Rider. No. Remember me. Ghost mm. I don't know how she does it. Wait, Ghost Rider or Ghost Writer? Writer. Oh. Writing. Oh. Thought it was with Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Love is all you need. It's Pierce Brosnan as Nicolas Cage. Yeah. As Ghost Rider. As Ghost Rider. The World's End. The Love Punch. A Long Way Down. Some Kind of Beautiful. Survivor. Okay, so I haven't seen most. Yeah. I thought, I was like, <laughs> so you, I'm, a huge, you, I'm a huge fan. I think I've only seen Mrs. Doubtfire. And I won't, I'm not going to lie to you. I skipped most of them. <laughs> in your head, did you think, like, I've literally seen every movie this I guy's been I figured he was my well, in my top three favorite actors of all time. Okay, well, who's your who's your top three favorite actors? Top three of movies I've actually seen. Um, I would say, ooh, that's tough. I'm really into, don't make fun of me, I really like Brad Pitt. Oh, that's cool. Brad Pitt's great. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, he was in uh, Fury. Yeah, he was in. He was I love in Fury. Fury. That's not the most referenced Brad Pitt movie. But no, I'm, but it's one of my favorite. I'm glad movies. that's your go-to. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like. Uh, ooh, well, you name one. We'll go back and forth. Top. Okay, three. so I name top three. Yeah. Um, obviously, I think my first one. This is just an easy answer for me. Would be uh, Jim Carrey. Yeah, that makes Jim sense. Carrey, yeah, I've seen. Yeah. Let pull up that Jim Carrey IMDb real quick for us. Yeah, pull it up. We're gonna. Live. I feel like I've seen pull most Jim Carrey. I feel like we could check this box yeah. off pretty well. I've even seen that one movie, Butterfly Effect. That's Ashton Kutcher. That's <laughs> Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, hey, if he's in your top three too, I don't. That doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. You know what's crazy? No, I, the what movie was he in that was like the Butterfly Effect? Number twenty three. Number twenty three. Yeah, that's what it's called. Okay. Well, we'll see. But it was, a, it was like booty. The I reference butterfly effect in my head probably once a week. Yeah. Because I'm always thinking. I always think like, oh, what if I did like make a wrong turn once and like life has Whoa. changed forever. Can we talk about that? Yeah. The butterfly effect. Yeah. How crazy that'd be. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be okay. crazy. Dude. All right. This is the pilot episode, and uh, we're still getting our <laughs> shout out to Sully. Yeah. Okay, Thanks for so... saving those people. Uh, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's first movie was Jim, in. Jim. Do you know what Jim. year his first movie was in? 87. No. 85. 90. Once Bitten. Is it Once Bitten? No. 90. Not even close. It's not 91, is it? Nope. It was no. 81. 81. Oh, 10 okay. years I was early. way off. Yeah. Okay. The first movie is Rubber Face. Mm. Never seen it. Okay. All in good taste. <laughs> Never seen it. <laughs> Copper <laughs> Mountain. I'm not into early Carry, but yeah. no. Buffalo Bill. No. Finders Keepers. No. I think I've seen Buffalo Bill. The Duck Factory. No. No. Once Bitten. Yes. Okay. It's a vampire movie. Peggy Sue Got Married. No. The Deadpool. No. Earth Girls Are Easy. No. Wait, is that the one with the three aliens? I don't know. I might have seen it. Sounds sassy. I probably definitely didn't see it, but I might have seen it. Okay, Mike Hammer. Nope. No. Okay, Pink Cadillac. I've heard no. of the title. <clears throat> High Strung. No. No. 
this is we... this is just gonna be a podcast about <laughs> yeah. how many movies we yeah, didn't yeah, see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go a little later. Okay, nineties. First, first movie you're gonna recognize, Ace Ventura. Oh yeah. baby, now we're cooking. Which one do you like better, Pet Detective or When Nature Calls? Probably When Nature Calls. Yeah, I think I've seen it more. Yeah, I do too. But Pet I Detective was terrified. Is a There's a scene in in the first one in Pet Detective that terrified me remember was it the fake dog no it <laughs> was oddly enough no. yeah no no it was he goes to that mansion of the rich guy and he's got a shark tank yes and and he thinks it's a dolphin or whatever yes and dude for some reason him walking over this black tank with a yeah, shark yeah. put a fear of sharks in me so bad dude that i still like in the shower i think of that scene and it terrifies this is me. perfect okay this is a perfect segue to would you rather I have yeah, a would you perfect. rather question Keep okay. that IMDb pulled up. Give me some Would You Rather theme song music right now. All right. <laughs> it's just the same, <laughs> the same like theme that. song for every bit. Like okay. Would you rather be forced to befriend a shark, a great white shark, like you have to hang out in that tank, that same tank, okay. that same movie, hang out with it for a day until you're friends with it. Right. Or Wait, how do I make it friends? It's up to you. Okay, all right. So you could talk about I mean, it. It's up yeah, to you. You can talk your strategy, as long things as like it's that. Up to me. Or have to kill a killer whale. So either you're killing a killer whale and you have to fight it to the death. Right. Or you have to befriend a shark. I feel like my chances are low in both scenarios. Yeah. But I, I would, I guess, I guess I'd want to be friends with a shark. I'm more than Dude, I like the way you think. Yeah, bro. I mean, if I, I was really, I really had no idea what you'd think. Yeah, if I have an opportunity to be friends with something versus fight to the death, death. right? It's probably easier to become friends with that yeah. with that shark. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what are my odds? I mean, you can you can pick three tools for each scenario. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of a tool to become friends with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I get the killing a whale thing. I could probably yeah. get like a harpoon gun. I figure if I give you three tools for the killer whale, I should give you three tools for well, yeah, befriending. Uh, and so I appreciate it. Maybe I guess, like a book he likes or something. Or right, I was gonna. I was thinking like a fish or or, or another shark. How about this? An armored suit. Yeah. That'd be so cool. when he tries to nip at you, right? You, you know. But you I'm still trying to figure out how to how to become friends with. Him. I have no idea. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. You'll find out on the next episode of no, but go back. Okay, but I like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, keep them coming when you when you have okay. one. All right. Just let it out. Would you rather? Okay. I got more. Next up, the mask. Yes, classic. Check. He was on Definitely fire classic. this year. What about the mask too? Have you ever seen that one? No, Jamie Kennedy. Yeah. No, I have it's not. Crazy. Have you seen it? Yeah, I definitely. Maybe seen we it. should review it. We, we should. I review should that watch one. it. I've never seen it. I, uh, my wife's favorite movie of all time is The Mask. One. I've seen it a million times. Never seen number two. I did watch the Jason Kennedy Experience. Have you watched that show? Yeah, back in the day, definitely that's, did. That's classic. Yeah. Okay. Um, next I don't up. know if I just said his name wrong or right. Jamie Kennedy. I have no idea what his name <laughs> is. I don't know. I think it's a Jason Kennedy. <laughs> no, that's the host on E. Oh, I know. I'm I sure. have no help. I'm pretty here. sure that's what I said oh, though. No, I, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. But the name, right? Can't do it. Okay. okay. We have Dumb and Dumber. Classic. Yeah. Best. Then we have Batman Forever. Okay. Which, by the way, have you seen? Uh, which the riddle? That was yeah. the riddler. riddler. The riddler. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was a good. That was a good rolling. Have you ever seen Dumb and Dumber? The yes. prequel. Yeah, that I, I actually loved it. That's a good movie. I loved it's it. It's a pretty good movie. Yeah, a lot of great, great. Those guys jokes do, in it. Yeah, yeah, they do amazing. I think the, the the people that they the two actors that they chose to play those guys yeah. did a great. The job. actual sequel is terrible. Yeah, with with Jim Carrey them back. I, I watched it. Like it. I watched it out of respect. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the first. Well, one. the whole time I was just, I was just waiting, waiting, and I was, I was ready to weep, and I was just like, <clears throat> I gave it its time. I, I was very reverent over yeah. it as well. I want, I wanted it to be a good experience. It's and almost it was, exactly like Space Jam Two. Yeah. Except Space Jam Two, I didn't finish it. Sorry guys. Yeah, no need. Usually, I like. Here's the thing. Usually, I like crappy movies. Yeah, no. Totally. I like yeah, watching crappy yeah, movies, but sure. Liv was getting tired of it, so I was yeah. like, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll stop Yeah, it, it looks super cool, the new Space Jam. But yeah, it's really, like, it visually yeah. looks really great. Yeah. I just wasn't into no, it. No, it was terrible. Okay. Okay, we now have Ace Ventura when nature calls. Okay, that's one of the that one. Ever made. Dude, the raccoon scene when he's yeah. on the, the yeah. wire. Yeah. That's then we great. have The Cable Guy. <laughs> Yep, that's a great movie. Yeah, that's one of my all-time favorites. That's a masterpiece. Yikes, so many like, good that was like, too. was that one of Jack Black's first movies? Yeah, I think so. 
Yeah, he's so good in it. Which, by the way, I know we're just going off Jim Carrey right now, right. but Jack Black is in my top three. Yeah, okay. All right, so we're at Jim Carrey, Brad Pitt, uh, now Jack Black, my number two of all time. Oh, man, there's so many. I should have been, I didn't even think about this while we were, while we were talking about it. I'll think about it, keep it going. Here. Okay, number two. then we have Liar Liar. Ooh, that's, Ooh, that's great. A, that one that's built great. me as a person, yeah. my character. Yeah. Learned a lot from that movie. It's great. The Truman Show. That's a great movie. Yeah, that's I love that. Then Come we on, have now. Simon Birch. Oh boy. <laughs> Wait. <Space> do the, <laughs> do the, the squeaky wheel. Let's give you that one real quick. Uh, Wait. Wait. <laughs> I don't ever... No. <laughs> no. Wait. Uh, Not that one, no. Wait, say it again? Yeah. Say the new movie again? Simon Birch. Oh boy. Ooh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's probably a good movie. <laughs> Is that okay. one? <laughs> no, that, the squeaky wheel. You had it. Is that a squeaky wheel? No. It sounds like a squeaky no, wheel. It's uh, crickets. <laughs> Is that crickets? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wait, sounds like a wait. squeaky wheel. <laughs> that's, a, that's a squeaky wheel. Dude. You can tell you have like an engineer's mind. Yeah. You're like, oh, that's squeaky wheel. We got to fix yeah, it. Yeah, I'm like, where's the WD-40? And I was, like, I was thinking like, oh, when a joke flops, we just... That makes sense. Yeah. And I'm like, where's the penetrating oil? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, next up is Man on the Moon. Yeah, that's great. That's the yeah. him as Andy Kaufman. Yeah, that's great. Nice. Then we have Me, Myself, and Irene. Yeah. Yep. That's a funny one. Okay, next up, my favorite movie, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Dude, classic. Yeah, I can't watch it anymore. One, I've seen it so many times, and two, it's a for me, it it's so ugly of a movie that it I just can't watch it. I don't know if that's just me. How dare you, sir? Yeah, dude. It's just like for some reason when I'm watching it, I'm just like the whole the colors make me sick. The nose is 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 designed like yeah, it's it's weird. It's like they did it on purpose. Yeah, it's it is kind of it's like has a grungy type of like film. Yeah. Okay. Next we have Bruce Almighty. Great. That's a great movie. That's great. Then we have Pecan Pie. Yeah. You ever seen Evan Almighty? By the way, I never seen that. So I don't know why I said yeah. Evan Almighty. Yeah, I did see that. It was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought that was all right. That was yeah. good. Then we have Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yeah. No, that's depressing. I <laughs> Is that the one it. that I, that's like the, uh, that's probably the one I was thinking of when it comes to the, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> the butterfly. <laughs> the butterfly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, people get those confused all the time. Yeah. You see that. Okay, we have a series of unfortunate events. That's great. Does he wear a beanie in that movie? Uh, I never seen it, actually. It always looked too sad. I'm not a big, I don't, I, if I know something's going to be sad, yeah. I just won't watch yeah. it. I know, but I pretend like it. I know I said I saw it, but I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then we have fun with Dick and Jane. See, now we're getting to the period where yeah, he gets real. Things raunchy. get a little, and they just get not as good. Yeah. You know, it's just not a classic gym. Yeah. You have the number twenty-three. That's what I was talking we talked about. Talked about that one. Martin yeah. here's a who. Yeah. That's okay, a I think we're all good on yes, that. Yes, man. Yeah. A Christmas Carol. Yes, man is good. I don't know. What do you think about Yes, man? Yeah, I don't. I I, rem- I barely remember it, but yeah, I think it, there's I think some great scenes in that yeah. one. Yeah. If you. <clears throat> Favorite Jim Carrey movie on three. We're going Sonic back to Hedgehog. this. But oh. Jim, Jim, Oof. no, we're over it. I think. That's hard. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> One. I don't think he's ready. Don't think it's got to come out. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Liar, Dumb and liar. Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Liar, yeah. liar, dumber, dumber. Yeah. I think that's, uh, I get it. I like Liar, Liar a lot. Yeah, I yeah. think that I've done, oh, Dumb and Dumber the, the most amount of time. I've so. seen that one the most. Out yeah. of all those other movies. Yeah. Just because yeah. we had them on VHS. Right. So we just watched it over yeah. and over again. That's how Anna was, my wife. That's how she was, is she, they didn't own a lot of movies, so they just watched the same yep. ones over again. Which, by the way, those other two movies, the yeah. James Bond one and, and the one with um, Jackie Chan, uh, those were my first DVDs, but my first VHS tapes yeah. that I personally owned, yeah. that were like mine, yeah. was Zoolander okay. and uh, Wayne's World 2. Oh, yeah. Wayne's and World. those two movies I watched yeah. nonstop. Yeah. You ever just watch a sequel and not watch the first one? I, I guarantee you I have. Sometimes I, when I was a kid, I would watch the sequel and I would assume it's the first one. And then when I get older and find out it's a sequel, yeah, like yeah, my yeah. mind just explodes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, um, it's like Mad Max. Yeah. Where like most people have only seen the sequel. Sure, sure. And they've never seen the first right. one. Right. Yeah, exactly. My, I always watch Indiana Jones 3. Yeah, and I just assumed that was Indiana Jones. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then when I found out one and two came, were came out first, <laughs> they came out. Yeah, like they finally just, came yeah, out. They yeah, finally dropped yeah. them. I just like 
Ex- that made my just brain explode. Or like we were talking the other day about like, or you just mix movies up. Like, like <clears throat> there's three Karate Kid movies before the next Karate Kid. You mean and like, uh, I don't know which one's which. I just assume they're all one movie. Yeah. And I guess you could say that that was the goal of the director. But right. But for for me, I get confused on like which one's who which? he's yeah who he's fighting and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that, yeah. that confuses me a lot. You mean like the movie um, but the butterfly effect. Like just like that. Pierce Brosnan's the but no who's that just like Jim Carrey's yeah Jim the Carrey butterfly the butterfly effect, effect. Uh, my second favorite actor I'm gonna go with see I don't want to say this person because he's very similar to my first one but I got right say, but I, I picked like Jim Carrey and Jack Black right and I think I have different genres yeah of who are my favorite yeah actors. This, this question was dumb but I think number two I like Leonardo DiCaprio yeah you know oh yeah I, a lot yeah you said he owned uh, you said you got the tuxedo Jack yeah Jim. yeah. Give me your best Jackie Chan impression. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Hey, I have a question. Can we get a coffee table tour? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Which, so, yeah. Well, what are we considering? Our, we're considering this coffee table. Yeah, that's, okay. that's, that's a coffee, that's t- I'm coffee just, table. I'm just showing them our new sponsor. So, um, yeah, let me walk you through what we got here. Uh, we do have what you saw earlier, the worst case scenario handbook. And then also, I got <clears throat> this. This is a real world. Paris book. So, do you do you watch The Real World? Growing up, I've seen it. I haven't watched it all the way through. So, I grew up watching The Real World, and then when Anna and I started dating back in '05, we started watching every season of The Real World together. And then, like we, every year or something. Yes, yeah, so and then we got super obsessed with it. And then we got into like the challenge, right? Because that's is, like a yeah, which is like the massive spinoff. That's still going on. Yeah, like we're watching it currently right now. I've seen the challenge right. more. Than yeah, the real world. yeah. And that's the sad part, because the real world, even though I'm a bigger fan of the ch- of the challenge, yeah, yeah. and it's so popular now, see, now the, the real world isn't on anymore, so now the cast is not from the real world, and they're kind of like, kind of whack, but we still watch it, but yeah, this yeah. is one of the greatest seasons of all time, it's the real world Paris. If you've never seen it, this is where CT comes from, he's from the challenge. So I got this book, um, it's just all about the different cast, um, have not read it, probably who's, won't. Who, who's CT? <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> then... Next. Just keep it going. Also, another another. I collect books. Don't read books. Nerd. But, yeah, Nerd alert. I read them. I I'm collect them. Button. So I got this. I got this super cool in sync book, dude. I love that it's book. Only two bucks. Could not believe it. And I'm. I'm. It's pretty cool. It's an in depth look at every person. All right. So that's Kiss Kirkpatrick. <clears throat> what, dude. <laughs> Dude, which first of all, you know what we should do? We, you and I, we should randomly go through this book and pick out outfits to match exactly oh, dude, be, what they're wearing. Yeah, dude. And if we could get a cheetah, that yes, would be like, that would, can we get a cheetah? Guys, so are we getting sick. a cheetah? We're doing this. All right, here's a uh, a question, and I'll give you multiple choice. Oh, this is specifically about Chris. Okay. Um, what sport does Chris? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. This is. What sport, <laughs> dude? All right, <laughs> this is so stupid. It's so dumb. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's All do right. it. <laughs> what sport does, <laughs> dude? Cut it out. We gotta cut it out. All right. <clears throat> cut it out. I got my own buttons. What sport does Chris say he doesn't like? <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> This should be the question. Okay, what sport does he say that he doesn't he like? Does not like. It's a negative question. Number one or A? Oh, there's there's, a, there's multiple choice. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I can do this. Scuba diving. That's a sport. Which, <laughs> that's the great debate that we might need to get into. We we could do a whole podcast. Okay, how about this? Here debating we go. on if that's a sport. Let's or do a five or, or just do like a a one minute debate. You can be, do you want to take anti-scuba as a sport or pro-scuba as a sport? Ooh, pro. I'm, I'm, okay. I, I wanted to do anti, but okay. pro. I'll take, I'll take anti. Okay. okay, go ahead. You can go first. Okay, so now that I have the floor, guys, hear me out. Wait, am I pro or anti? <laughs> <laughs> Your pro scuba diving oh, yeah, pro is, scuba is a sport. Okay, so on the beautiful land of Italy, this sport has been developed and crafted over years, over centuries, of diving for pearls, right? That's where it started. That's where it began. And pearls 
were a symbol of love. So you dive down into the ocean, you'd get your pearls, right? And then you bring them up and you'd marry somebody, right? You'd, you'd present it as a gift. So men started competing. Who can dive the deepest, find the biggest pearls, the most exotic looking pearls. And ever since then, on the beautiful country of Italy, it has been one of the most intense, passionate, because they're Italian, mm -hmm. sports, romantic, dramatic, Pearls. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't know romance was a sport, and yeah. I appreciate your opinion on it. Yeah. Here's romance where, is big. Here's where sports. I'm going to disagree, it's because this didn't say diving; it said scuba diving. <laughs> yeah, and scuba has not been around for centuries. So let me break this down. <laughs> if you are, if you have a sport, okay. to where the object is to swim, but you need help, that's not a sport. Okay. Uh, we'll let you guys and decide. Also, <clears throat> we'll let you guys and decide. And also, if, how are you, now I'm like anti, anti, how are you competing in scuba diving? It doesn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. Who's I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm with you. You want me. Okay, here we go. Okay, what does he not like? Scuba diving, football, inline skating, golf. I feel like I want to say inline skating. Um, sorry, that was number two. I feel two. hard. <laughs> golf. Dang, I was gonna pick golf. He doesn't like golf. Did you guys? Uh, did you get a picture of that? Is that my no, that's an actual thing. People actually debate if golf is a sport. I would say golf is a sport. I yeah, can. I played golf in high school. I was varsity. Varsity's <laughs> yeah. golf, dude. I, I mean, I wow, instead of field. Might as well have been a scuba diver. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, anyways, this I, this is a cool book. Maybe we can go through it more. Yeah. It's got each. Can you name each in sync member? So no, I can't. I'll give you the picture. Does that help? I told you I'm not good with the names. So I'm going to try to do first and last name. All right. First up, guess. Wait, let me hold it. Okay. Any guess in the first one? This guy? Yes. What would you guess his name is? Jacob Slimith. JC Chazé. Oh, I was close. I was close, dude. J could be. Can you look at what JC stands for and then get back to us on that? You can use my laptop too if it's faster. But okay. All right. Next up. You know this one. <laughs> just, <laughs> Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Okay, got next one, if you could guess. Yeah, I'm getting mad. Mad uh, Randy vibes. Randy. Starts with a J. Jonathan. Cumio. Joey Fatone. Joey Fatone. You were close. It sounded Italian. Yeah. That was pretty good. Okay. Can you name the next guy? Matthew. We just talked about him. We did? Yeah. He was, <laughs> the, guy, he was the cheetah guy. Chris Kirkpatrick. Chris Kirkpatrick? Yeah, dude. That's his name? Yeah, dude. That's the dopest name yeah, ever. Yeah, dude. Chris then, Kirkpatrick. Come on. Last guy. Come on. Nick DiPaolo. Is that a person? Nick DiPaolo is a comedian. Okay. Yeah. No, that is Nick Pruitt. La, la. And this is where we find out that Nick has been in NSYNC his entire life. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, it's fine. Lance Bass. Lance? Lance Bass. Lance Bass. Yeah, dude. He's trying to go to space. I just heard that. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's, he wants to go to space. He wants somebody to take him up there. That's gangster. Would you go to space? Would I go to space? Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Which? Wait, it depends. Like real space. Like who's taking me? Well, I was about to say, which billionaire are you going with? <laughs> If each bit, if Jeff Bezos, if Elon, okay, so that's so if Elon calls, Bill Gates calls, Jeff Bezos calls, the guy who owns Virgin Records calls, that Texas Google, guy, go, Texas guy, Google owners, okay, Miss YouTube, they all call you and they're like, we're going to space, we got room for one more, we all, we need you to go to space, who are you riding with? Um, honestly, I was just. I was goofing when I said Jay. When I said yeah, uh, Jeff. of course. I was, we all was, goof. That was a gaff. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'd probably be Elon. Yeah, I'd probably go Elon too. He seems like he'd be the most fun. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you get stuck in space with Jeff Bezos, mm -hmm. that would be miserable, dude. Dude, if you get stuck in space with Elon, he like he's already got his Tesla up there. Yeah. And you know you could watch movies in Tesla, so. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff Bezos. <clears throat> Jeff Bezos is interesting. He, uh, we're similar in one way. You? Yeah, could you guess? Jeff Bezos? Yeah, could you guess? You're white? 
<laughs> They're similar in two ways. <laughs> in more ways than one. Okay, we, uh, let me guess. Yeah. You both have Amazon Prime. Okay, three ways. The third way is uh, we both have a wonky eye. Whoa. Now, he was born with a wonky eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got Bell's palsy a year ago. Dude. And my left eye is wonky. That's why I'm, I'm going to face this yeah, way. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah. you look, if I'm like, if Max Mercy Live, you're going to see this eye get all like wonky. Just do like a and He's like, got a, they call it the sniper eye. Yeah. I, was like, I, get that. <laughs> I, like, yeah. I mean, yeah. I thought you were just trying to intimidate me. The entire time? Because you're just like... Well, that's the other reason why me and him are similar. We use those. We as use a to our advantage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. But no, I would not go to space. Uh, you wouldn't go to no, space? No, I wouldn't go to space. You don't trust it? No. Space, no likey. No, I would go to like the, I would go to like the atmosphere, maybe. Like how most of these billionaires are actually doing it. But going yeah, yeah. into space, I'm not sure if okay, you get stuck there. You ever seen Moon? Which Moon is great. The movie? Yes. No, I haven't seen it. Watch it. But go ahead. Okay, so... Okay, you're saying you wouldn't go to space, but however, would you reconsider if the Looney Tunes were in danger and aliens from space came down mm -hmm. and they needed your help to win in a, I believe, what is it, a five to five championship yeah. of basketball? A five man team. Five man team? Oof. I don't know if that's the actual numbers. Right. But it's in space. In space. And you Elon know, Musk will be there. Hmm? Elon Musk will be there. Ooh. I would consider it. I had a, I had a, I was, I had the hots for uh, Lola Bunny as a kid. Understandable. Isn't that a weird when you're a kid, you can be attracted to like cartoon animals? Animals. I don't yeah. know if you were, but. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. I was Lola's one of them. So knowing that she'd be there, that's exciting for me. It's in space, but it, you know, it's a version of space because you're like in the Toon world. Yeah, I feel like the Toon world is like it's definitely. Would you not, go to Toon space? I would go to Toon space. It's not safe, but you know, like for the most part, you're gonna get hit in the head. That little thing's gonna shoot out of your head. Yeah. That little bald spot, and then it goes. Then the next frame, you're back to normal. Right. I could. Probably okay, your that. helmet breaks. Your face goes blue. Right. And you just go. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that I could probably handle fall off a cliff, but like you don't fall right away. Yeah, yeah. You just see that, and then when you fall and there's like your body, your silhouette of dust, I could probably handle that You can hold part. up a sign that says, Right, like, yeah, Yikes. right, right, right. Or yeah. you get exploded with dynamite, but you're back to normal again. I could handle all that. I just don't think I could play basketball. You're right. <laughs> That'd be, so, okay, so we'll, we'll cancel that out. Very, so you're not going to space. No, I won't go to space. Not going to space. No, it's, not, it's not worth it. So no uh, space. No space. No sharks. No sharks. In sync. I think I know the answer to this. I don't know why. It's John Fantastic. I don't know why I'm going to ask this, but yeah. In Sync or Backstreet Boys. In Sync. You know, it's one of those mind blowing things. Is I assumed everybody who likes In Sync in the '90s cool. Anyone who likes Backstreet Boys lame. Whoa! But, but I didn't so, know that hot take over yeah, here. Yeah, I didn't know that Backstreet Boys sold more records. Their Ooh, concerts were bigger. Yeah, That's yeah. one of those things. Like again, like you have such big assumptions, then you get older and your life like crumbles you know what that plays into butterfly effect butterfly effect <laughs> with jim carrey nice you know what that plays into the cool factor yeah you know what i'm saying right like the it factor. did you have the cool factor no oh, when okay. i was a kid did i have it yeah no oh, okay not at all i don't yeah. even have it i've never had it yeah i had the cool factor <laughs> as a kid i think i lost it now that i have like kids and stuff yeah, but definitely. when i was a kid i was like yeah i was pretty i think when i have kids i'll get the cool factor right yeah yeah, yeah. That happens all the time. Yeah, that definitely. Yeah, that happens. That you, definitely no, I mean, when you become a dad, you become cool. That happens yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's a normal thing. Yeah, yeah. You're cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate that yeah, so much. You're welcome, um, Wait, did you guys want to know what JC's name is? Oh yeah, JC Shazay. JC is his first name is Joshua. Would you say? I don't remember who we're talking Roll about. Roll it back. <laughs> Roll it back. And his last name is. Shazet, wait, how do you say it? Shazet. So JC. It stands for, yeah. Shazé? Yeah, Shazé. So it's, it's Joshua Shazé Shazé? Exactly. <laughs> Dude. That's cool. This is, again, one of the things. Like, what is happening? Yeah. I just would never Like, your, your perception of the world has been rocked. Right. Is what you're saying. But I guess Justin Timberlake goes by JT. Yeah. But not... J, Justin J, Timberlake. Right, Timberlake. he doesn't go by JTT, which is Jonathan Taylor Thomas... Who's a top three actor? That's my third actor. Third actor. We've, we've Pitt, arrived there. Leonardo DiCaprio, DiCaprio, JTT, aka Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Now, who's that guy? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> home Improvement. You ever seen Home Improvement? Home Improvement. 
where he goes like, Ooh. can you pull a picture of JTT on your phone and show Max JTT? Uh, he was also in Man of the House. He was also in Wild America, which is why Anna started That's, dating me is because um, she was obsessed with Wild America, which is about three brothers who similar look to me as in blonde hair, blue eyes. Dude, so you moved her hair. with that movie. Yeah, I didn't Pretty know, much. but my favorite movie was Selena's, and she's Mexican. It Whoa! Just worked out. Yeah, it just worked out. That's JTT. Okay, I know that dude. He was in, um, was it the Two Jungles? Jungle to Jungle. Jungle to Jungle. Nope, he was not in that. As a different kid? Yeah. He was in, uh, <laughs> who, was, who was in Jungle to Jungle? <laughs> jungle to Jungle. Concrete is Jungle. another actor, is, and, he, and he's great in it too. Uh, can you go to IMDb first, real quick, JTT? Uh, he's in a bunch of movies. I'm not going to spoil it. We're going to read them off. Um, we'll see how many JTT movies you've seen. Okay. This is the movie episode. Yeah. So it's the pilot movie episode, so. a.k.a. the Sully episode, Which, a.k.a. the birthday episode, a.k.a. we couldn't get our barber to cut our hair because he was out of town episode slash movie episode slash JTT. Butterfly effect. Because if this movie didn't, if this didn't happen, right, it's like a butterfly effect. Right. Right. Think about that. Okay. I'm ready. Which, by the way, I just want to say this. Sully was a movie. They made a movie about oh, it. Oh, dude. They also made a version of Sully with Denzel Washington. Which, isn't that a true story? It's called too? Flight. Yeah. Yeah. So they're story. completely different pilots, different stories. Very similar movies, though. Are you Sully on Denzel? <sighs> yeah. I. It, yeah. These days, it would have to go that way. Yeah. But if I could choose, I, I'm more of a Denzel kind of guy. more of a Denzel. Yeah, I'm more of a Denzel. Which I, think in I feel like you're a Tom Hanks. Did Tom Hanks play Sully? Yeah, he played Sully. All right. Tom Hanks played Sully. I think you're more of a... If, if we're talking about uh, yeah. just personality types. I'm definitely a Tom Hanks. You're a Tom Hanks. I'm a Denzel Washington. Did you see, ever see the movie Big? Big's Sorry. great. You ever seen Training Day? <laughs> yeah. Training Denzel, Day's great. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Okay. Right. Okay. So the, he was in a couple shows, but the first big King movie Kong. he was in... God. Nothing. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It was... The Lion King, he voiced Simba. He's Simba, dude. All right, JT, I get it. JTT. Why do you think it. it's my top three? Go. Yeah. Man of the House. Okay, you said that one There before. it is. Tom Remember and Huck. Classic. Wait. Tom and it. Huck, dude. I've seen Which it. Which one is he? Let me guess. Huck. He's oh. Tom. Tom. Tom Sawyer. <laughs> Are you just saying that because he said that? Yes. Yes, he's Tom. Okay. Makes okay. sense. Okay. The Adventures of Pinocchio. Yes. Whoa. Made for TV movie. He plays Pinocchio. He comes alive. That was a good one. He stars Wooden. I'm pretty Wild sure it's in it. America. Wild America, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. He's great. I woke up fight early bears. the day I died. Okay. What? I'll be home for Christmas. Yes. One of my favorite, all time favorite Christmas movies of all time. Dude, we should do a Christmas episode. Like, yeah, dude, our next episode should be a Christmas Christmas episode. and summer? Yeah, dude, it'd be cool. Yeah. Okay, obviously he was on Home Improvement. Um, this is where it starts getting like less and less. Yeah. Home Improvement. I used Wild to watch Thornberries. Yeah. Wild Thornberries. The cartoon? Classic. Yep. Oh. And Exotic. everything else I've never heard of. Yeah. He looks interesting now. I've seen him recently, not in person or anything. Liv, I pull wish. him up. Yeah, pull up a picture of JTT 2021 for us, please. Um, he retired from acting. He went to a university, and uh, he got. he's really, really smart. Uh, he just has an interesting... Look now, because in the when, it, when you know back in the day he was on like Tiger Beat and all those magazines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like the dude. Young the actors from the nineties. Yeah, so hot. <laughs> That's what you're gonna say, right? No, that's what I'm gonna say. No, like kid from uh from Home Alone. Yeah, like Macaulay when Culkin. he grew up, like he started look looking weird. He has yeah, and he looks normal now, but he went through right. a weird phase. But he went through a weird phase. Right, where now he like, looks he yeah. looks normal. It's weird. So. <laughs> All right. Is that a a cigar? I think it's a vape. It's either vape or a flash vape. drive. Okay, I get something it. Something like that. What vape niche. Yeah. <laughs> I got one more. Would you rather? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Now, here we go. We're going to go real serious for this one. All right. Would you rather take a direct fart, open butt cheeks in your face? Like, I'm talking like, like, look at like, butt cheeks are touching your face. Okay. All right. Open butt cheeks. Your okay. nose is all up in there. Okay. Hot, moist, okay. damp fart directly to your face. Or <laughs> I just keep describing that. <laughs> just keep oh. going. <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually meant to hit this. Cut it yeah. out. Yeah. I hit the wrong one. Um, or would you rather 
have to take a shot of like a glass shot of 10 random strangers spit mm. and you get to choose the the fart the farter the farter the f- okay the, the fart tea the fart tea the farte uh i'm gonna go spit i'm just gonna go spit there's a l- there it's gonna suck to do it but then when it's done it's done the fart i could i gotta live with that <laughs> and then you gotta live with yourself yeah live with myself and then who knows what could happen to me later right pink eye right some type of infection yeah we're talking now we're talking respiratory issues we're talking um possible heart disease we're, we're yeah. the list grows in the fart scenario it's a lot less with the with the spit um i mean we're talking opinion. okay 10 random strangers off the street right we're talking random diseases right we're talking random lunches yeah different flavors chunks of stuff in there that's all Hold i got on, uh, yeah okay that's okay all I, really got. I mean i don't know yeah I i'm think, still gonna go i'm gonna go spit on that one i think all right i think i could like do you think okay for would you rather were those questions was it balanced at least I think it was balanced i don't know if we'll keep it in the podcast <laughs> <laughs> but I think, <laughs> I think it was. That's what I like. They were balanced with with within themselves for sure. I think. Uh, I think so. I'm just gonna opt out. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. I didn't know. Well, I didn't know there was an option. I think I would have. I think I would have <laughs> probably. If I had to think about it, going back. No, you already picked those. So. Going back. Right. Picked. I get that. I mean, he likes and I'm a man of my word. But going back or for future. As long as that's a rule for the future ones, I don't know. Should we make that a rule? Because if, if if we do, no, I don't. Th- no, I don't think it should be a rule. Okay, then I'm going for spit. I think you're all right. Thanks. Yeah, you fought right. me on it, I, and I knew that was the best. Choice. I just want to say that I clicked a random button, and it started just doing some weird stuff. <laughs> but I think I got it back. But if you see anything weird, that was me. Oh. Sorry. All right. Shout out to Liv. Yeah, she's our uh, bow, 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 bow. producer, for lack of a better term. Yeah. Um, so she's gonna be. Producer, you're gonna hear her sometimes. Friend, lover. <laughs> Cut it out. Um, yeah, dude. Give me some squeaky wheels. Real quick, you know, uh, we're we're still feeling this whole thing out. We're gonna bank a bunch of these episodes. Yeah, we'll pull it out. We're gonna get better. Uh, we're gonna. There'll be times where we talk about topics. A lot of times we're just gonna have fun, talk yeah. about stuff. Sometimes I, we'll get serious. Yeah, sometimes we'll get serious. I think it's cool that like, uh, especially like we both are Christian dudes. I think. They're, they're not to like like uh, show how the sausage is made or whatever, but really our goal is to like fill that void in like the Christian community of like something that's not like leadership training or teaching. There's yeah. an amazing podcast for that that we'll probably yeah. like recommend randomly, but there's not like just uh, there's a there's not that it doesn't exist, but there's like yeah. a kind of bigger void of like where people who are like Christians or just want something like clean and fun, we're, something that like resonates yeah. with them. We're brothers and bros. Yeah, like right. We're so bros and brothers. Yeah, dude. And we're hanging out. Right. Right. And that's what it is. Like it's the experience of us hanging out. And we might get into like serious things. Yeah, we might for get sure. into like you know whatever. Who knows what it'll grow. Yeah. Into right. But, uh, right now it's like let's just hang out. Yeah. Talk about stuff. Jackie Chan, third favorite actor. Dude. Jackie Chan. Dude. It's Jackie Chan. Dude, I feel like God like downloaded that in your spirit in yeah, that moment. Yeah, seriously. We had to get serious. I mean, my first movie, yeah, we had to get serious yeah. in order to get to right, that. Right, right. Because my first movie was, ja- was tuxedo. the Tuxedo. And I was waiting for you. I was kind of like hinting toward you. I asked you to do an Rush impersonation. Hour. Rush Hour 2. Go through Jackie Chan's list of movies right quick for us. Rush Hour 1, On the 2, yeah. and 3. I never seen 3. you never seen 3? No. It's pretty but, good. But again, I've only seen one once yeah i've seen two about a thousand times million times and it's great shanghai well let's just get to it you got shang the shanghai movies dude jackie chan is a beast oh he's the goat yeah he is when it comes to like stunts yeah yeah he's crazy when it comes to comedy when it when it comes to haircuts when yeah when it comes to movies about tuxedos he's the best when do we want to start there's a lot of movies i've seen a lot of the early stuff but let's go to 90s Okay. Let's just see if we see him. Because he has a lot of like kung fu. Watch movies. it. Okay. Yeah, you can say kung fu. 
Okay, we have <laughs> Twin Dragons. Okay. Nope. Super Cop. Yes. Seen Super Cop. Great. It's a great one. City Hunter. Nope. Crime Story. Nope. Um, the Legend of Drunken Master. Yes, yes, that's a good one. That's a masterpiece. Rumble in the Bronx. Which is yep. the second Rumble one. Rumble in the Bronx. Yeah, R- Drunken Master is the first one. Legend of the Drunken Master is the second yeah. one. Okay, First Strike. No, I'm not sure. Mr. Nice Guy. Yes. Yep. Who am I? Is that a question? No, or? no yeah. it's a movie. A uh, Rush Hour. Yes. yes. Chris or, Tucker. Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. Chris, Chris. I was, I was waiting for you to say the actor's name, so I <laughs> yeah, dude. remember his name. Gorgeous. Nope. King of Comedy. No. Mm. I haven't seen Gen it. X Cops. <laughs> <laughs> Shanghai What was Yoon. that? I don't know, dude. <laughs> that just awesome. got me like, what should we call this movie? It's about a cop. He's like, you know, he's like Generation X. Yeah. Gen X Cop. Gen X Cops. Okay. It's like naming a movie right now like Millennial Cops. Yeah. Yeah. Or, 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 or Gen, Gen Z. Gen, Gen Z Cop. Or Gen Alpha, which is your daughter's generation. That's creepy. Yeah. Your daughter is in Generation Alpha. That's, I wish I was, I'm Millennial. Yeah. I wish I could be an Alpha. Yeah. I mean, I am I mean, that's in, most, pretty, in most situations, that's pretty dope. but. Okay. okay, we have the tuxedo. Uh, uh, never seen it. What? You've never seen the tuxedo? Never seen the tuxedo. Dude, he's like, he's like Inspector Gadget. I'll have to watch it. Love Inspector like, Gadget. Uh, that's Kung Fu. more my yeah, area expertise. That's a good movie. Yeah. Shanghai Nights. Yes. That's Whoa, no. Dude, no. are we Shanghai Nights, but like a Puerto Rican and a white guy? Yeah, Shanghai Noon. I'm not Shanghai a Nights Noon. guy. Okay. I like Shanghai Noon. Noon was I, the first one. Yeah, right? Noon's the first one. Dude, we should remake... Shanghai Noon, me and you. Yeah, I'm down. I could be Owen Wilson. I could be Jackie Chan. Yeah. What else do they got? <laughs> we have Around the World in 80 Days. That was a good yeah. movie. Yeah, it was I've fun. never seen it. Just a fun. Rush Hour 3. Nope. Great movie. Loved it. Got the Forbidden it. Kingdom. Yes. yes. It's actually really good. Yeah, that's cool. Every Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, dude. Uh, Kung Fu Panda. I actually have a. It's not a Kung Fu Panda tattoo. I have a panda tattoo. It's a funny story. When uh, my first daughter was born in 2018, we brought her home, and I had like regular, like not anxiety, but like you know, like yeah, yeah. like I want to make sure she's breathing. Like dad. So yes, yeah, so I'd had to stay up past when she wouldn't sleep, and Anna, she just goes to sleep. She doesn't like nah. she'll just go to sleep. So I would like stay up, and I was like, I was for some reason. Because she was a newborn, I thought I can only watch something that like her spirit can handle. Whoa! Yeah, which is Crazy. so weird. But, <laughs> yeah. But I was like, so I'm gonna watch Kung Fu Panda. So yeah. the first night we brought her home, I watched Kung Fu Panda, and then the next night, I was like, okay, the first night went pretty good. I should probably watch Kung Fu Panda again. Yeah. I proceeded to watch it for the first three weeks every single night that she was born. Nice. And I I rotated so at least I could have something different yeah, between yeah. one, two, and three. And then, then as she got a little bigger, she got obsessed with pandas. I got a panda tattoo to yeah, like yeah. remember that by. And uh, yeah, so I've seen those movies so many times. Which one's your favorite one? Uh, ooh, I like one and three. So I would say yeah. I still think one is one of the greatest animated movies yeah. of all time. One is great. Pre, three pre nineteen nineties. Okay, nineteen yeah, nineties yeah. is my favorite. Three but. is a perfect number three movie. Yeah. It really brings the whole story arc right. to great completing right. completion yeah. story arc. What about Jurassic Park 3? Ooh. See, that's complicated. Yeah. A lot of people didn't like it. Right. But I really get into like What year did it come dinosaur out? Dinosaur movies. I'm going to say it's like 2001. So how old were you? Were? How old were? You? How old you were? <laughs> how old was I? That's how I'm going to speak now. Yeah. I got <laughs> yeah. the pit vipers on. How old you were? You how old? In 2001? Yeah. 2001. You'd be like... Nine. Nine? Yeah. Okay. I was nine Check years it, old. 2001. It was. Man, I'm good. Yeah. Um, so you were not... I was like 11, so it was like perfect made for us. Yeah, yeah. I love the first one. Hey! We made it, guys. And I, I love the second one. Vince Vaughn. Yeah, yeah. It's a good uh, one. Dr. Alan Grant is nowhere to be found. California. Right. Hey, check this out. Ready? Can you cut to my camera? Ready? Dude, it's perfect. They do exist. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, <clears throat> but three, I, I do like three. Baby T-Rex. Oh, yeah, dude. dude that baby was T-Rex. Cool. 
I was, you know, I was just the scene I was just thinking of the other day. I love three, by the way. Was I was I was working. We were, we were at at our church, Faith Bills. We were working on our kids' wing, and uh, I was in the scaffolding. Yeah, which is like way up high. And we could tell you funny scaffolding stories because me and Max pretty much solely worked on scaffolding for like five years. For years. But I was up top and I had dropped something. I dropped a zip tie, right? And yeah. then you're, even though it was just a zip tie, my heart like sank for a second because I'm like, someone's going to die. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, nobody's No, no. And then but. you're like, you're fresh on the scaffolding. It's yeah, been like been a while. Years, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're, you're trying to balance. Right. 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 You know, you're, yeah. you're trying to fight that a little bit. And then when you drop something, yeah. you have that dropping feeling. Yeah. yeah. And I knew I couldn't catch it. And, I, and then I was like, what if that would have been a screwdriver? Or what if that would have been a hammer? Right? Dunzo. Nobody was there. It was fine. Zip tie was fine. Still usable. Went down and got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Now, it took me back to the scene in Jurassic Park 2 where they're in those like RVs. Yeah. They're going off the cliff, right? And One of the best like, scenes there's ever. There's a glass underneath, right? Yeah. And then Vince Vaughn. He's there. He drops. He drops it. He goes, "Heads up!" Remember that? Yeah. Heads up! And it falls, and the glass shatters. Yeah. And they catch her with the bag. Yeah, yeah. That's what made me think of that. <laughs> yeah. I was, and I was, yeah. I was, I was, then I was like, "Heads up!" It and was, but then it's like quiet for right. like a little bit, and then just right. Yeah, and dude. Then, yeah, and then, dude. Then, yeah, it was a zip tie. And, then, and so I love that scene. I think of that scene all the time. But Jurassic Park three was cool. They had the member that you were inside a cage or inside a bird. I love the twist of uh, finding out that the uh, the couple, they weren't like rich or anything yeah. like that. There's that. There's a uh, talking dinosaur. Remember on the airplane, the dinosaur starts talking. Yeah, that, that was, was, like, that was cool. a little weird. Yeah, that but was, was cool. cool. I think it was a dream. But. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely and a dream. And then, uh, Dr., yeah, Dr. Alan Grant comes back yeah. in that. It's one of my favorite dude, movie the characters of all time. the pterodactyl scene? That's what I'm saying, dude. Terrifying. In a, they're like in a cage. Yeah, they did like, a good job of that. It's like a big bird cage. Yeah. yeah See, something the, like that. What I'll say about this. Jurassic Park 3, a lot of people were pooping on it. Yeah. But it had the best toys. True. And the best video games came out of that one. Yeah. See, I'm old enough to remember the Jurassic Park toys. And yeah. those, to me, are the most iconic toys. That's I had like, a friend. Yeah. His name is Bubba. Shout out to Bubba, wherever Shout you are. Shout out, Bubba. Ooh, ooh. Um, and he had all the toys. Oh, I'd sick. go over his house. He's rich? Yeah, he was a rich kid. Definitely. And uh, like... He might brother. be the first rich Bubba. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a contradiction. Yeah. If anything. Yeah, yeah. No, but uh, yeah, he always had all the fresh Jurassic Park toys. Dude. And they were like... I thought they were pretty Toys? Cool. I, man, I was... Obs- obviously, like every kid, I was obsessed with toys. I was obsessed with action figures. And I never was into like the the big car, like Jurassic Park stuff. Mm-hmm. Right? I like the figures and maybe the dinosaurs. Wasn't into like the big cars or like the houses, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So uh, my friends would get it, and I would go over to their house, and I would bring my figures over, and I would. So I was like, I got the best of both worlds because I was playing with it. There you go. But then I got the head. So then, and I still have them. I gotta bring them out someday. I got like all these like action figures from when I was a kid. Yeah. And I, I would just. That, that's all I needed. I didn't need the big stuff. And so, uh, but I was obsessed with like action figures. Um, I was also obsessed. Uh, me and my friends had a Stretch Armstrong. You remember Stretch Armstrong? Yeah, I remember that one. So like, dude, we would just try to break it, wouldn't break. I just remember for some reason I remember Jurassic Park toys. Yeah. Star Wars toys. Yes. And Stretch Armstrong. Dude, for me it was Legos. Like, yeah. I I love tiny things. Yeah. I love yeah. looking at tiny things and just like I'm just like look look, look, look this little guy. Right here. Yeah. It's one of my favorite Legos. Right. Look at this guy. They made this. Yeah. They made this. I like looking at it. And I'm like, they made a little form for the hands and they painted it look at it's got little buttons and a little like knobby thing comes off that's how i was when i was a kid i was just like i would just look at the little tiny things like little tiny hands and i would just be like how do they make this and then that's was my life that's a great just figuring out how to make stuff yeah that's what i'm into well i think that's cool and that's your right to be into that yeah um I wasn't great. into that as much, but you know, I did a lot as a kid. I uh, would emulate a movie. So if I went and saw a movie mm. at the movie theater, that I was that character for like the next 72 hours. Nice. I remember I saw 1999's Tarzan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, great movie. And great classic, probably one of the best. And I was just, I became my, I got on the way home, my mom stopped at Toys R Us, rest in peace. And, and then, she got me the Tarzan spear. So I see in the movie, yeah, I yeah. get the Tarzan spear, the Dude. little spear. And then I'm out in the backyard. I'm on a dirt mound, barefoot. That's that's living life. And I am Tarzan. I'm spearing things. I'm spearing my sister. And I'm just having 
I'm being Tarzan. You're and then just killing like, people. to this day, if I watch a movie, then I like I I will become that character like like subconsciously. Like if I watch a gangster movie, yeah. I'm like trying to wheel and deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like slapping around my wife. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if I watch Scarface, I'm like, uh, I just want to eat a Cuban sandwich. Yeah. I get into whatever I'm watching. And still, like like I said, to this day, I still have that problem. I don't know if you are really... I know you're an actor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But I don't 1, know if that's, Yeah. I would just stare at myself in the mirror, and I would just, like, become the character. Right. Like Jim Carrey all like the way. Like Jim Carrey. Jackie Chan. Yeah. I would jump off buildings. I've literally jumped off garages and stuff like that, trying to do stunts. Wasn't very smart. Yeah. But I'm alive. Favorite martial art. Favorite martial art? Yeah. Like, just martial art, period. If you could be... If tomorrow you could wake up a black belt in a martial art. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, honestly, I think it'd be jujitsu, Brazilian jujitsu. Yeah, dude. Like I've always wanted to do that. I, yeah. I wanted to get into that. One, yeah, no, I, I think that that's the smart one. Yeah. I'd probably go like ninjutsu. Like flashy. Yeah. I go ninjutsu, wushu. Okay. Yeah. Um, drunken whatever, master, drunken master. I would do that. I would do whatever Bruce Lee did. Yeah. You know, um, those are the things, things that wouldn't work in a real fight. I would do that. Samurai training. I would Dude, do like samurai training. One thousand percent, I would do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I used to have a sam- sword. I used to have a samurai bun. Back when you I could do, one do right those now. kind of things, um, you could do it now. Yeah, my hair's so, kind of long. Well, it's long. It's like you know, I got a hat here. And oh, stuff. are you lying? I'm not lying. Give me a hair tie. Or you could just hold it with your hand. Okay, here's my hair, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> Dude. Little dude, little you did it. I did it. You did it. I didn't believe you. Yeah, no, I didn't trust now. you. Yeah, dude. My You're... barber's out of town. I was, I was actually thinking about chopping it off, dude. That would be. We should do it live on the dude, podcast. Dude, live on the podcast. What if we just got our haircuts for a podcast, dude? This is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's talk to Alex, our barber. Shout out Scalp X Milwaukee. We're from. by the way, we live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Milltown. That's where that's where we're from. If you're not like, if you don't know us, which probably if you're watching this, you're probably like. A you're, close you're friend or family, mom, probably. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, especially the first episode. But yeah, uh, man, we hope this is like gonna grow into something cool. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Hopefully, episode two is gonna be even like better. Yeah. I I'm like that... sweating bullets right now. Oh yeah. I'm like so hot. Oh no, it's disastrous in our studio. It's yeah. so hot right now. <laughs> Sweat bullets. It's crazy. We can't... and I'm also like nervous energy. So yeah, we like... can't have a fan on. I drank. I drank a bang. Shout out bang, bang. energy drinks. I uh, never had, I had one, but I'll try. Oh, dude. Well, they're our sponsor, so you okay. have to. How about this? Yeah. Energy drink podcast. Oh, dude. Well, we just keep drinking them? And we just review them. Oh, dude. You know what I'm saying? That would be sick. Yeah. We start off with a five-hour energy. You do yeah. a monster. Monster. Sugar-free monster. Sugar-free. Monster juice. Yeah. Every Red Bull. Every Red Bull. Every Bang. Every Bang. Shout out Bang. Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Can you name more? Remember Rockstar? Sobe? Dude, Rockstar. There used to be Sobe energy drinks. Yeah. That was like the first one I ever had. It just tasted like melted sweet tarts. I used to um, get um, these like Middle Eastern energy drinks. Yeah, dude. From a shady character in a garage once. And this is like a true story. Yeah. And I had no idea what was in them, but they were pretty good. Dude. And they kept me energized. That's cool. They were probably like heroin or something. Yeah, like cocaine, something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, we should do, I think that would be, yeah. And like we, we can review them. Right. Well, sure, we'll get gallstones. We'll get like we'll be completely yeah. unhealthy. Yeah, but yeah, it's just for one episode. Right. We'll need a medic on site. Yeah, medic on site. It's gonna be a big deal. We gotta get insurance. There's a lot of things that go into this, but it's worth it for the listeners. Yeah. So I think that'd be cool. There's and different you, monsters too. I used to drink monster yeah. all the time. Yeah. And now whenever I drink one, I just can't. Yeah, it just tastes like gasoline. Yeah, it's just. But straight. it was cheap at the yeah. time. Again, when we were working with youth, Max still does, but when we were working yeah. with youth. We would get the monsters wholesale, and then we would just pay the wholesale price. We we're getting it so cheap, and we would just drink them. Plus, we'd give out free monsters all the time yeah. and stuff. And uh, yeah, with hot chips, stuff. Like yeah, that. kids yeah. would just be throwing up monsters and right. And we would too because we, that's and, all we would eat. Yeah. So it was dangerous. Yeah, it wasn't smart. I miss those days. I was, <laughs> I was, I was like twenty one. Then I'm thirty one yeah, now. Yeah. You just turned twenty nine. Twenty nine. So birthday episode. Too. Yeah. Shout, Shout out, out to Sully. This is the pilot episode. The birthday pilot. episode. Birthday. The the Sully episode. The Sully episode aka the we didn't get a haircut because our barber was out of town episode we'll see AKA you there, the butterfly effect 
Effect, aka the Jim Carrey episode, aka shout out to JTT, JTT, aka Bubba, Bubba, where you, you at, Bubba? You got any shout outs? Um, Jackie Chan, we love you. Shout out Tuxedo, You're the we best. love you. We'll see you guys next week. All this right. has been Bros and Brothers. Brothers and Bros. Okay. Which one is it? The bros, it's Bros and Bros. Brothers and Bros. Okay, see you guys. All right, love you guys.